All right, we're getting ready to trim the linen border off the second one. And Kelly's holding the camera and she's gonna kind of try to do two things at once. We're gonna measure this and see if it has the same problem. So Kelly's going to, while holding the camera, hold that exactly on the edge of the poster. And this is measuring 48 and 3 eighths. Now we're gonna come down and we're going to measure the center. She's gonna get that right in the edge of the poster. Aha, uh -huh. 48 and a little less than a quarter. And now we're gonna come measure down here. Wow, 48 and a half. So now you get the idea that this edge and that edge are not parallel. That's exactly what caused the problem on the last one. And we're gonna solve it the same way by leaving whatever linen backing we have to keep showing in order to preserve the entire image surface of the poster. This is the second poster. And I think it's a little worse than the first one. So this is my straight edge. I'm perfectly lined up with the edge of the poster here. I'm gonna come down and you're gonna notice I'm gonna stop right here. You start to see the white linen. And now we come up to here and we are flush with the poster again. Once again, the poster is thinner in the middle. So that little piece of white linen is going to show. And on this poster, it's gonna show on both sides. Both posters have been trimmed, and before we attach this down onto the map board, we're going to position it on the map board. And I have my measuring stick, which is easier than counting 30 seconds of an inch on a ruler. And you can see we're good here. We are maybe a 30 second of an inch too low here. That may be okay. I'm gonna come over here. And we're perfect there. And we are good here. So we're gonna go check the bottom and see where it lands. You can see it's, the border's too wide here. And now we're gonna come check the other side of the bottom. And we can see the border is too small on that side. So the choice is, do you start trimming the poster to make it parallel to the map board, which is square, which I really don't want to do. Again, we don't want to trim off part any image part of the poster. So I'm not going to show this, but now I'm going to split the difference and come up with the best compromise that I can to make it look as straight as possible without trimming any more off the poster. So now I have to cut a series of little slits in the mat board. I need to put five pieces of tape on. So there's gonna be two for each one. So that's 10 little slits I have to cut. This is a template I made. And before I cut the slits, of course, I'll take the poster off. When this is one and five eighths of an inch down from the top, and this lines up here, this is exactly where I cut the top slits. And we'll show you some of that in a minute.
is the um, linen tape that gets put through the slots that we just cut. Um, and what you can do with linen tape is take some 220 grit sandpaper and just sand it a little bit. It makes it a, li a little bit thinner and lessens the chance of getting uh, having it show through to the front, okay? Okay, the tape is on and I think we said this before we are only attaching it from the top and that's going to over time allow the bottom to hang and the whole thing to begin to straighten out I'm going to put this here so I don't get any glue on the mat board that I'm going to be working on now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the whole poster roll over a little bit there, that's good. Now it's out of the way. And here's the tape I have to put the glue on. And what I found was the best thing to use is my finger, which has a bandage on it, which I'm gonna take off because the cut's doing just fine. You remember in the test that if you put too much glue on, it comes through and kind of shows from the front. Okay, get right up to the top. Take a little off. There's my little wiping area right there. That looks good. That looks good. You also don't want so much glue that it spills out on the edge of the tape and starts to glue the poster down to the board. So I don't want glue on these edges. So there's a little more in the middle here. That should do it. All right, you can see we've got the poster weighted down all over the place, the heavy weight dispenser on mat board in the middle so it doesn't move while I'm doing this. Down it comes and now we put on our weights. And I'm gonna pull it this way because I don't want it to glue with a bump in the middle. Okay, now we wait till tomorrow morning and hopefully we'll get this one put in the frame and all finished up. Okay, as I've mentioned quite often, this frame is really too thin for something this big, which is why we put in that huge, really sturdy strainer back. You can't see it on the video, but these long, thin rails are actually bowing out a little bit. And then when you drop in the plexiglass, the center's too wide and the plexiglass drops right down to the paper. So what I do is I put on these blocks so that I take out the bow. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to measure Actually, I'm going to measure the outside of the, I'm going to measure the, actually, I'll do the inside. I'll measure the inside of the frame. And I've got my 50 and a half. I'm going to measure here. I've got 51. Each side just bowed out about a quarter of an inch. I'm going to push this in a little bit. 
I want this to still be longer because I want to make it even. Good. Now I'm going to move this one in a little bit. Matter of fact, I'm going to line these up a little better. There we go. Got to get my clamp under the lip here. There we go. There we go. Now, move this in a little bit. And I've got my 15 and a half. I'm not going to show it, but I'm going to do the same thing on the top and bottom. All right, so now I'm going to install the spacers, which rest against the plexi, the artwork rests against the spacer, and it causes an air space between the art and the spacer. Now these posters are huge. Over time, some of them may, parts of them may come up and contact the plexi, but it's not pressed against the plexi. It'll move away over time. So I think this is pretty safe. So now I've measured the length of my spacer and I'm going to cut it that looks good now when dealing with plexiglass or UV glass that has a coating on the inside well I'm gonna I'm gonna start again on that dealing with anything other than regular glass you cannot this has double-sided tape on it you cannot get this double-sided tape on any part of the plexi that shows, you just ruined it. Um, you just ruined like a couple hundred dollar piece of plexiglass in this case. So I hold it firm against the edge and I push it straight down. And that is it. Get the tape to seal and that's how you install the space. All right, Kelly and I just got the poster mounted on the map board into the frame. And uh, now we're going to put in the strainer back, which has the foam pour on it. And let me see, this is the top here. Now, these are a fairly tight fit, and as you can see, let me loosen this up a little bit and see if that could be the issue. I have these a little too closed up. There we go. Now, we have to turn this over now to look at the plexi and start working on getting all the dust off. And we're not going to bother to show you this, but I'm going to put a couple of screws in here. So this is all held together. We're going to turn it over. I'm going to take out those screws and we're going to start lifting up the plexi and going after little bits of dust. And that can take literally hours. Okay. Okay, right, where are we going? Which direction? We're going to lift up this side. It's going to go this way. Okay. I'm going to lift this up. Now we need to lift the whole thing up a little bit to make the edge of the frame. Okay, now if we can get down lower. All right, now we look for dust. Hey everyone, Kelly and I just spent about an hour and a half getting all the dust out uh, and now uh, we're going to show you screwing this together. Normally we would flip the whole thing over and while it's upside down put the screws in, but this is so big 
I don't want to turn it over, turn it back over. So I'm going to get underneath and screw it with it facing up. Okay, it's all done. It's coming off the table and we're going to get to see it, this one vertical, the way it's going to hang for the first time. And you can see the strainer back doing its job. It's not creaking and flopping all over the place. There it is. Feels much more solid. That's our new compressor turning on. Just ignore that, it'll turn off in a second. And there it is. All right, so we're wrapping up the back of these. Uh, this is Lineco frame sealing tape. It present, prevents dust from getting in here and onto the image. A lot of times you'll see people tape here as well, so dust can't get in there. But this has been put down with double-sided acid-free tape. So this is sealed to this nice and free of dust um now we're not going to show you this either because i've done this before but this gets a z bar or a cleat put on here and another piece just like this goes on the wall that this will mate to and that's the best way to hang it here we are they're done the biggest things we've ever framed um a reminder these are linen backed valuable posters uh, they're not mounted down all flat they're hanging from linen tape on top so they're just hanging and over time they begin to straighten out a little bit and this is exactly how something this valuable should be framed and exactly how it should look and I'm thrilled and I cannot wait for our client to see them